and welcome. This is Ace with John teaching another Android Studio tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you two things about buttons and another housekeeping thing that is very interesting. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do this very simple thing. We're going to use it, this. I've got the graphics and everything and I'll also post the code even though you won't need it on my website but I'm going to make it so you can do that. You press the button and it changes color. And we're also going to do another thing with a ripple effect, but we'll have to do some other housekeeping before we do that. It's actually quite simple. What I did was I went over here, I created a new drawable resource, XML, and then I moved it, because it's easier to move it than it is to do it the other way, uh, into my drawable. And I basically deleted all the contents, and then I put the select selector right here. XML, Android, and all the schema address. And then the items inside of it. Item Android state pressed equals true. Android drawable, drawable. And these are the buttons that I used. So that when you press your button, it changes color. And this is actually the true, the pressed part. And this is the default part. So they're a little bit backwards logically, but that's what it is. So there's that, and that's how you do that. It's pretty simple. You just go down here and you drop a button somewhere. And the only thing you have to add is this little tag right here, and it gives you the drawable and the name of the design file in XML. Now, what you're going to run across eventually is a lot of different nitpicky things are getting confused because there's a lot of things you have to create for every button. There is a way around that and I will show you that but it's kind of complicated. Um, so I'm in development of that. So there's that and if you've got just a few buttons it's no big deal. So when you press it, it does that. So there's that. Now the other thing I wanted to show you was ripple effect which is part of the Android uh, Material Support Library, which um, many of you will have already downloaded because we did that earlier, and you can find it in the SDK. I already showed you how to do that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do that. But the default ones that I load up have always been 15 uh, API. So I'm going to actually show you how to change the while in an actually running program how to change uh, from 15 to 21 is what, what, what we need right now. You go to File, Project Structure, click on App, then go over this Flavors tab, and the minimum SDK version is 15. I'm going to change that to 21. I've also got 21 downloaded. Uh, if it's not there, maybe one of the reasons is because you haven't downloaded it. And you can do that through the SDK as well. And there it upgrades uh, to 21. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this go to code go to comment with block comments get rid of that essentially and then I'm gonna unblock this and this is a ripple this causes a ripple effect you've seen this on many apps I am sure uh, it's basically the same format as the selector but it uses some effects from the support library uh, the Android color Android color control highlight um, and I'll leave you a link. You can look this up. There's a lot of different things you can do with this, but it gets complicated fast, <laughs> apparently. So I'm just doing the basic one. And then this is the drawable. I'm only using the one button and a ripple effect. Now, when we run this, it has this cool little ripple effect. And we'll see here in a second. All right, there it is. And when you go up here, see that little ripple? When you click it, it's like a pebble in a pond effect. And that tells you that you clicked your your button. I did want to point out one thing, however, um, before I said that you know if you wanted to do different buttons, you would have to do different XML files. That's if the buttons don't use the same resources, like an actually a different button with different graphics in the background. If it's the same button using the same a different button using the same resources, that's perfectly all right um, because it has the same effect. It uses the same. Uh, resources so there's no problem there now if you wanted to do a button whose background uses a graphic that was green and then have this effect on it you would have to do 
a different XML file uh, for that. I hope you've enjoyed yourself and learned something. This is Ace with John teaching another Android Studio tutorial. Uh, glad you could join me, and please don't forget to subscribe and to thumbs up.